Speaking of free agents, man, Jadavian Clowney came up in the mix. Um, there was an interview that he did where, um, long story short, um, he, he, he floated the idea of maybe coming back and, and joining the Texans, and um, he wasn't really against it. He was like, you know, it might be nice to, to come back and rehash things with the Texans. And, um, It'd be nice uh, to be here. I mean, all my family here, friends here. So I was thinking about something like that, but uh, you never know. They putting the pieces together. I'm a big fan of a new head coach. We'll see. The real question is, should the Texans take a sh take a chance on uh, signing Jadavian Clowney? Um, <laughs> from my perspective, man, uh, this is a brother that's 30 years old. Um, he probably had the prime years of his of his career with the Texans in his first go round. Of course, we drafted him his first year. He got injured. He only played, I believe, four games. Um, wasn't the greatest showing for him uh, out the gate. But it, again, he uh, was injured, and so when he came back, I believe he had maybe about a three year run with the Texans where he was at his peak. Um, never hit double digit sacks. Um, I don't think he ever hit really. High numbers as far as uh, tackles or even assisted tackles. Um, you know, he was a guy that was drafted high on the specter of who he was coming out of South Carolina. And, you know, of course, that hit that he had against Michigan, which was dope. But, you know, once the, the smoke kind of cleared from that uh, big fire that he uh, gave at the draft or whatever, just before the draft, uh, what type of player is he? Um, I'm going to be real with you, man. I, I can't see what his value is that he could add to this team. Um, certainly not necessarily as a starter. He can get up. He, okay. So he can give some veteran experience. He can definitely do that. Um, he can help out the locker room in that way. He's definitely a professional about his craft and going about doing what he needs to do. Um, if I recall, he's played a year with Seattle. I think he played the 2020 season with Tennessee and I think he's been with Cleveland last couple of years um so mm, what has he really done you know like I don't necessarily see us bringing in Jadavian as a retread just because of nostalgia you know these bodies that we have to to have on this roster you know this is like you know prime real estate, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if we're going to invest money in these guys, it's got to be guys that's going to make sure that either the locker room is sound or that the, the play on the field is sound. If he's going to, if he's going to be like a coach on the sidelines or, or maybe um, uh, a player coach that can kind of help, help get these youngsters, you know, up to speed with the, the way I, I look at it like this, Miami, uh, the Miami heat have Udonis Haslam. 42-year-old old man on the bench. Um, just basically, not to get in the game or to be involved with the game, but just to be a player advocate or a player coach to kind of get these guys the information that they need from an old grizzled vet. You know what I'm saying? So maybe if he's in that type of capacity, then I could say, okay, cool. But the contract's got to be minimal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not to say that he deserves to not get any money, but I'm just saying like, What's he bringing to the table at this point? 30 years old, hasn't really had one of those uh, Hall of Fame careers that a lot of cats be looking for at this point in time. So that's my two cents on it, man.